Welcome back to ECMO. Uh, my name is Gerardo. We got Daniel. We got Melvin. We're here again for another episode. If you haven't already, please check us out on Patreon. We get an extra episode every week and you got a Discord to get access to. And if you're a Harito, which is a $20 tier, you get a shout out at the end of the month, just like this. Abraham Romano, Alex Knotts, Alexander Marquez, Angie Mora, Carlos, David Serato, Gabby Ferris, Hector Cruz, Isai Facio, Jared Dean, J. Rob. <laughs> Isn't that the fool that made the song Sunday? J. Rod? Oh, no, that's Lil Rob. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Daria, Nia Town, Rosa Alarcon, Susana Guzman, and Terrence Siloy. Thank you very much to our Jaritos. That's a lot of people, dude. Yes, sir. That's crazy, but there could be more. There yeah. could be more. There's got to be more. There's yeah. Be more. yeah. We got Jarito right here fucking partying. He's off screen, though. You can't see him. He, <laughs> he's back again. Yes, sir. He's the he's door security, but there's no doors in this studio, Doug. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Wide open, baby. We're hey, back nowadays. in Studio M, by the way. I yeah. forgot to mention at the beginning here. <laughs> studio M is where we shoot all the episodes, except for ones with Joel, which, what do you guys think about the Joel episodes? Oh, yeah. I love Joel. Dude. You know I love me some Joel, dude. <laughs> You know I love me some Joel. You know I only watch the clips. So, you know, <laughs> I've been meaning to watch it though. I've been hearing good things. Yeah, yeah he does look like a lot. I, I've mentioned this before. I have a crush on Joel, man. He looks. He reminds me of. <laughs> I, I, you know, I have a crush on him because he reminds me of Aladdin. I used to have a crush on Aladdin growing up. I'm, I said it. Oh, okay. I said it. All right? and I, what about Jasmine? You yeah, like, and there's been a lot of people. Oh, Jasmine's cute. Jasmine's cute. I like that tiger. Wait, so you like uh, you like Aladdin more than Jasmine? Oh, by a hundred miles, yes. I'm gonna go on a limb here. And I like Jafar, Doug. I love the well. First of all, the genie holds my heart. The, the genie, genie, but uh, you right. would, would you f the genie though? No, he wouldn't. I wouldn't be doing the thing. He would be. He would be. He'd be. I would let Jafar f me, dude. Jesus, really? Yeah. Are we already two minutes into the oh, podcast? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we have a rule where we don't cuss at like yeah. two minutes into the podcast. You guys, <laughs> you're like, I would fuck the <laughs> genie. Jafar would fuck me. And the genie. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are some dirty dogs. Genie in a bottle, baby. So you know, you rub me up. You is know that what saying? you call your behind the bottle? Dude, that, that's the most homophobic thing I've ever heard in my life. I just want to be the monkey. Yeah, <laughs> oh, right here. Yeah, is that his name? Apu? You are on you yeah. are our Apu right here. You're our Apu. Like Jar and I talk and then you're on our shoulder. Like <laughs> yep. And you have that red hat, the Raisin Cane's hat. Oh, yeah, oh where's that? <laughs> Shout out Raisin Cane. Oh, yeah, I was like, I gotta wear so that. This is your Apu hat, dude. I like can't, that. Dude. It's got a, there we go. <laughs> Prince Ali magic is here. Yeah. Mm. What did you, you had raisin canes for the very first time? Yeah. What did you think of it? Oh, it was awesome. I'll be Maybe it's because it was also three in the morning and we had just done a show and I yeah. drank, and you were drunk as fuck. Yeah, I drank enough alcohol to. to <laughs> I was looking at my credit statement the other next day and I was like, I spent what? I'm like, <laughs> dude, it was the, those fucking mangaritas, the mango slushies. They were oh, they cost so a lot? good, dude. They're, they were like seventeen bucks each. They were oh great. my god! Yeah, yeah and then we, you, you get buying drinks for fellas. Melvin's, yeah. a, Melvin's a, a fellow drinker. Like he'll he'll see a guy, give him a shot. And He's like, you remind me of a lot, and then buy yeah. him a drink. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they were getting on my case uh, at at the bars because I was like talking to a lot of guys. But they, but I don't talk to a lot of guys. Guys talk to me. Yeah. They come up to me. You guys saw, and people just come up to me and start talking to me and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like blow people off. I'm just like, yeah. hey, if someone's cool and nice, yeah, I'm gonna talk to you. I'm not I'm not one of those like. Like, bro, stop talking to me, man. I'm, I'm here for girls, bro. I'm here to, like, yeah. you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, bro, give yeah. me a hug. Dude. Like, <laughs> you hugged one guy a lot. You dude. kept yeah. hugging them, yeah. bro. You, you, I said it before. He was a veteran. He, uh, oh. he, was, he was currently enlisted, so I kept hugging him, thanking him for his service. What's so. it, the Coast Guard? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. There's a base, like, close to Temecula. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, that one in San Diego, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Camp Damn. Pendleton. Camp Pendleton, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The top He's, Gun is in San Diego. Oh, yeah. really? I think, yeah. The Air Force? Uh, Navy, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what I mean? There, Top Gun's the Navy? Yep. I'm not going to go down this rabbit hole, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I have yeah, not yeah. seen Top Gun yet. I haven't seen, top, I haven't seen either of those. Air top Force gun. takes off, but they're in naval aviators that take off from boats. You know oh, I mean? aircraft carriers. Yeah, yeah, aircraft, yeah, yeah. not boats. <laughs> yeah, they call them boats. They care, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah. This, this is something that I want to talk about because we're today's episode is about insecurities, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my so God. So you're secure enough to go up to a fellow. Oh, I, I'm secure enough to hug hug men. Uh, well, I'm, well I'm you secure, know, yeah. Yeah, I'm secure enough to call someone handsome. Like that was that's never been a problem for me. I, I you know I you guys see a lot of men get uncomfortable when like when we start talking. Especially I notice it when I get when I start like yo that guy was handsome as shit or that guy was that guy's beautiful. I see a lot of men around me like wince and kind of like cringe at it or like yeah. they, they're just like what like they they can't make. They can't make of it like they they can't like they they, they can't comprehend yeah. what I'm saying because they they have such a black and white like view of things which is like you can't compliment a man because that makes you gay mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? Are you gay? It's just like, no, I just, I call it how I see it. Yeah. Are you, you know what I mean? Are you gay though? No, 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 no. Yeah, I, because if, I, you, if you were gay, I wouldn't mind, you know? I wouldn't care either. I would actually, would, I would care. I'd like you more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not gay, man. I, 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 I tell this story all the time, dude. I wish I was fucking gay, dude. You wish you were gay. <laughs> this shit looks like it's a, a blast, dude. <laughs> What's and you? for you, you were, you're able to wear that Raising Cane shirt and feel like you look fly as fuck. Oh, I did. I yeah. did look fly, bro. I, you do look really See, cute. that's what I'm saying. He yeah, thinks yeah. he looks fly, but you know. Oh, yeah. dude, I went yeah. in the Raising because I always wanted to be. I love the people at Raising Cane's. I told, oh, yeah. I made, I made friends with everybody at that Raising Cane's. Bro, they were sick. They, they were like, we're about to close right now, but you guys can eat in here, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. They were super nice to us, but that, that, that also, look, to what you said, man, uh, uh, it, a lot of time times when people are mean or jealous or yeah. a quote unquote or hater, it all comes, it all stems from insecurities. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And you, you feel it when you meet someone that's not insecure with themselves, they're a lot brighter, like, like metaphorically and almost physically, they, they seem a lot brighter. They're a lot more positive. They're yeah. a lot nicer. Yeah. They're a lot more open to, to, to people. They're a lot funnier mm -hmm. and it, it, their energy is just so much more positive Yeah, because they, you know, because they don't have insecurities. And, and if, if uh, everyone has insecurities, mm -hmm. it's not the lack of insecurities, it's the acceptance of your insecurities. What's one secure insecurity that you still carry to this day? Well, I've always been a bigger guy. So, ah. I'm, you know, I'm tall. I'm 6'5", but I've also- This fool is acting like it's- guy, bro. Guy. It's like, he's like, gonna go yo, there. Yo, he <laughs> he's gonna go. I'm 6'5". I'm Dude, and like I, my never, and yo, like I, I never- I can't, never I can't have sex with a girl because my dick is just too bad. It's <laughs> no, so uncomfortable. No, no. I it's never, just so tough. I never bring up my uh, height. You guys know this. I never bring up my yeah, height. Yeah. End the episode, Dude, bro. I this literally- <laughs> Follow me on Instagram because I recently posted a couple days ago a very traumatic experience that I had when I was seven years old. He put a song in that Oh my God, that was so aggressive. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. So I saw- What do you post? Posted this this uh, this story and you're like, now what song do I gotta post with this shit too? Because it's, it's the saddest. Yeah, it's like the most I'm, haunting I'm, song. I'm like, bro, just post the shit. Just you don't post gotta it. post the song with yeah. that. Yeah, I got to, I got to, bro. Dude, it's, so it's, it's, <laughs> everything I do is a performance, so it's to entertain. You should have done summertime magic, but tell them like, the story just, that you posted. Okay, so all right, so I went to a fair this last weekend, right? It's so aggressive, out of out of nowhere on a and Friday. I've never been to. I haven't been to a fair in 20 years because I just don't like fairs. I, I love rides. I love roller coasters. Mm -hmm. I love uh, you know. Friday. Oreos. I love, I love, I love, huh? You love, you love deep fried Oreos, huh? No, I've never had one, dude. Shut the fuck up. I'm fucking talking, dog. Probably deep fried my dick in your mouth, dude. But, Jesus uh, Christ. He is gay. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, uh, I just, I don't like fairs. I don't, like, it, it, the rides are too, like, uh, I just don't trust them. And when, one time when I was seven years old, I went to a, a carnival mm -hmm. and I witnessed a man fall from the top of the Ferris wheel hit his head on the metal platform base and fall right in front of me and my big sister. Mm -hmm. And I saw his brains come out of his head Jesus. and leaking and uh, blood was coming out of his eyes and he, his eyes were just open like there and he, he just, he was dead right did in front of me. He, did he survive? No, he was dead right in front of me. YouTube's like, what the they, fuck is this fool saying? Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they found him dead. Yeah. <laughs> How you wake up dead? But the thing is, okay, yeah, but, that story but, is one but, thing, right? Yeah, well, well, yeah well, and I posted it. Yeah. And then, because I, I posted, like, I was, uh, I was, I didn't think it was going to affect me until I walked into the carnival. And, like, for the first 20 minutes, like, my heart was beating. Yeah. I, I was short of breath. And I was like, I was looking at these rides. And, and, and the you know, the person that I was with was like, let's get on this one. Let's get on this one. I was like, I don't know if I could do this. But I didn't want to seem like a coward. So I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And it, it's just, it was like. I eventually got through it, but after, but but before that, it was getting to me. Like the the I was like reliving my seven year old Melvin's day at the carnival. Mm -hmm. uh, but that that being said, I posted about it. I posted about it on my story, and I was just receiving outpour. Of just just every, a lot of people were just reaching out to me and being like, "Wow!" Like just an outpour of love, right? Not all. I, no, I, I, no, 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 no
Okay, shut the fuck up. No, exactly. hey, hey, hey. Tanner, shut the fuck <laughs> yeah, up. Go ahead, Jerry, go ahead. No, scary. what fucks me up is the story after that <laughs> is a chili cheese fries. Oh, fucking... yeah, and I was like, yeah, yeah. Well, follow me. If you guys follow me, you guys would know. <laughs> I was just like, oh, man, this might have been too serious. And then I just posted a video of this huge curly fry with bacon and cheese that I had bought previously. That and, uh, looks like a man's head exploded. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't when you look at the that. story and you go to the next one and it's no, like chili. I, I like it because I, I had a, I had taken a video and I at the end of the video I zoomed into the Ferris wheel. <laughs> and I, I didn't realize that until after I posted I was like, wow, how perfect. Like the because the Ferris wheel was just in the back, like, like, hey, like ominous, dude. Ominous. Yeah. This is why you can't post traumatic shit for and then something happy in, within 24 hours. You yeah. gotta give it that whole day. Yeah. No, you gotta give it. You can't I, I like I like both, bro. It's whiplash. I, I like them both. This feels like Shakespeare food, comedies yeah. and tragedies, yeah, homie. Give me both. Baby, give me both. Comedy <laughs> is tragedy, <laughs> folks. Comedy is tragedy. Tragedy is comedy. You know what? Comedy is tragedy after timing, though. You gotta give it that time. To yeah, marinate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm a master. Well, it, timing. You were seven years old, dude. Yeah. No, seven years old. I waited fucking nineteen years to post that no, shit. No, you should have waited. You should have waited longer to post the next story. You should. Nah, we should have not seen the chili no. cheese fries until the next day. Yeah, at least. At nah. least. At least. You know? uh, and, and I, I DM. No. I DM you. No. I said, "Damn, bro, how many people have you seen die in front of you?" <laughs> I know. I you know. always have a story about people. Dying. I know. You dude, gotta, it's, like, I know. Every there's like a, like you could walk past the museum with Melvin and he'll be like, "Wow, I just remember as a kid I saw somebody die at that museum." <laughs> yeah, I was watching this piece of art and this fool fell through the roof and he died dude yeah i was yeah <laughs> <laughs> about life. yeah man i'm just uh you're an unlucky just, guy yeah. to be around man yeah well none of my friends ever, have ever died in front of me not yet yeah you know, and i've never died so yeah i don't think i can i don't think i'm ever gonna die i think my voice is gonna live on through these podcasts forever yeah, yeah. yeah. i just think i'm gonna live forever probably yeah yeah, yeah. but you are healthy yeah that too you are healthy you used to be fat as fuck dude i was but, but uh, back to you, I asked you, <laughs> I just wanted to throw that in. Oh. Uh, so the one thing you're still insecure about is your height. No, not my height, my weight. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my we weight. didn't let you finish. Yeah, 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 you, guys, yeah. you guys interrupt me. He interrupt, yeah, interrupt, yeah, we're sorry. Yeah. You, 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 no. you started with something cool before you told, said the sad shit. No, yeah. no, no, no. So, yeah, my weight. So, oh. my, my weight. So, like, even though. I, I would feel insecure about people's safety around you if you've seen a bunch of people die. But no, 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 no. I'm like, just kidding. It, like, it's like a. It, yeah, because you know, it, I, I am. I'm so also like it, it. It like evens out, but um, but yeah, some there's just some, like some periods where I'm skinnier than other periods. You know what yeah. I mean? And uh, I've always been I've always been a bigger kid. So like, just weight. Weight has been probably my biggest insecurity thus far. Uh, ever since I was a kid, even till now. You were a fat kid, right? Uh, no, I was just a big kid. There's a difference between being a fat kid and being a big kid. Yeah, I guess that is true. Yeah, yeah, like you're, you were a fat kid. Yeah, uh, I was a wimpy you kid. were like because you were like five one, but you were fat. Yeah, well, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in middle school, I was already like five ten, five eleven. Jesus but I was Christ. like big. Damn, damn, I big, yeah. dude. I remember I was I, I was always a big kid. Like my fattest was I mean probably right now, but mm -hmm. also in like high school I was always like kind of my fattest. And then out of high school I would get jobs and then like lose weight riding my bike. Yeah, and then I lost so much weight and I was actually pretty skinny. But I didn't like the size of my nose, so I started eating a lot more. Wait, oh. what? Yeah. Oh yeah, I will say that. Yeah. That's also one of my. I my uh, my friend asked me, he was like, "What are you gonna do when you make your first million? I was like, "I'll probably get a nose job." <laughs> oh, but and they thought I was joking, and I was like, "No, I'll probably get a nose job." Really? Yeah. yeah what, what do you not like about your nose? I just don't like how it you don't you don't like the hook. Yeah, 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 whatever that. Yeah, whatever. It has like a. We have a cool Spanish yeah. hook, though, bro. Yeah. No, that, that's exactly what I don't like. It, oh, really? Okay. You mm -hmm. want we kind of you want one of these little button noses, huh? Yeah, a cute little button nose oh. where like it turns red when it's cold. Who has the best nose here? I got a big old thing too. You got a big old thing? I think you, Jer. Oh shit! You have the perfect nose. Look at that Roman nose, homie. No, that's not Roman. That, what? If anything, that's not Roman. What's the opposite of Roman? Trojan. Trojan. Oh. Trojan is a Trojan Roman, horse. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. a horse nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you fucking bitch. You got a big old nose. Yeah, but no, he has the he has the most perfect nose. Really? Yeah. Dude, out of those three. When I lost weight, I think it was just one picture that was taken at a bad angle that made me feel like, oh, oh my God, do I have a skyscraper or a nose on wow. my face? What does yeah. being fat have to do with your nose, though? No, well, I, I don't know. Because you lose weight. You yeah. lose weight in your face. Yeah. yeah. And then it, it, it amplifies the size of your nose. That looks, yeah. You look good, though, when you have a slim face and like a, you know what I mean? You a look, fucking honker, dude? Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> There's a lot of people with big noses that are like celebrities. Dude. JP yeah. Morgan, dude. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Je who? You guys never seen JP Morgan's nose? Mm -mm. This, this is fool is a the banker from like the twenties. He's like robber baron. 
Oh. This fool had a fucking huge ass nose, and then he got some kind of disease that put a bunch of bumps on his nose, and it got bigger. Oh, imagine? Oh, that's crazy! When <laughs> yeah. somebody has the big bumps, that's oh, crazy. That's, yeah. that, no, that's, that's something I probably go. Or to. Adrian Brody. Adrian yeah, Brody. He's, oh, yeah. he's, he's got, got a, a he's got a hooker like you, dude. Yeah. He's got a hook nose, so you really mm-hmm. want to get your nose done? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How much does that cost? Have you looked into it? No. Oh, that's you don't really want it done then. No, that's why I said like I'll go like once I make the first milli. So it's just like no. Oh. If you haven't looked into it, then you ain't that insecure. Really? Bro. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you haven't looked into well, it yet. This is just something that you'd want to do, but this isn't. Something well, what are you insecure about? <laughs> Dog, don't even get me started. This bro. was the most insecure. <laughs> don't even get me. Nah, people are always like, "This guy's confident," but now nah, I got some insecurities. <laughs> you, you, you do get a lot of sh- uh, a lot of flack online for for being too cool, pompous. Yeah, yeah. People were like, "Oh, he look." What uh, somebody in the on the the comments are oh, like, "Talking about therapy." Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pom- what, pompous? What does that mean? Like pompous, like you know, like yeah, yeah. Get, like bravado, pom- or, bravado. Yeah, yeah. yeah, bravado. Oh, me found bravery in my bravado. You know, what yeah, I mean? exactly. You gotta find. Like you gotta you gotta be confident in whatever you do. Now, yeah, I'm I'm. Mm. I'm confident but i wasn't always confident no you know what i mean absolutely not my biggest insecurity growing up and even now sometimes dude was my teeth always oh what? shit yeah i had a big had a nice teeth i had a big gap growing up and it's still there a little oh bit. shit i oh. used to never smile Did you get it fixed no i just i still have a gap so every time i see a celebrity that has a gap yeah i don't give a fuck who it is you i stand? love that guy oh, steph, oh, steph shit. curry gap i'm like that guy's my fucking guy bro. jack knight r.i.p yeah gap yeah um what do you call it who else has a gap Anybody, I say, anytime I see somebody with a gap, I'm like, this guy's dope. I don't know what they're Steph doing. Steph Curry's got a gap? He's, he's got, got a gross gap. little gap, huh? No, but Steph yeah. Curry has a gap. Yeah, he's got baby yeah. teeth and a baby face. Yeah, yeah. he has a gap and he has all that money. He's like, I still ain't going to fix it. And I like that, bro. Damn. I like it. You but know? question, how many people like you are there in the world huh? that yeah. like a gap tooth? What do you guys think about gap teeth? Me? I don't have any... I, any, you have any you thought think, on gap yeah, teeth? Yeah, no, you do. Yeah, I don't. Do. Unless they're like they're like all the way like this. <laughs> okay, yeah. you're like dog. What's the matter oh, with you? Yeah. I will say this: anytime <laughs> somebody has a gap teeth, has has a gap in their teeth, they're funny as fuck. Usually, like not oh, actually, hundred okay, percent yeah. of the time, yeah. like it's like if I yeah. see like a black dude with a gap in his teeth, I'm like that guy's fucking hilarious, bro. Yeah, Eddie Murphy, gap in his teeth. Oh yeah, Eddie oh, Murphy. Right. Yeah, yeah, guy. You fix? No, still he still has you the still same gap. Yeah, still has a gap. Guy yeah. working at a, a warehouse, driving a forklift, gapping his teeth. The guy's fucking hilarious, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's yeah. it. You gotta, but no, I used to get teased about it too as a kid. Wow. I was, I'm, this was the fuck, the worst roast I ever got. It was this chick, dude. She looked at me, and we're you know you say some mean things, you yeah. say mean things back. She looked at me, and she was like, "You look ugly when you smile." Oh, oh my like, god, bro! And that's different from just saying like you 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 like your teeth are fucked up because that means like when you're happy. You look fucking hideous. My <laughs> That's when you're the ugliest. That's when you're the ugliest. When you're the happiest. And oh dude, my god! And I was just like, you're a fat, but not only a fat. Like nothing, <laughs> nothing hit. Everything I tried to throw, I just did. I was like, That's it. I just got cooked. And that Damn. shit stayed with me, dude. Who was it? Oh, this bitch named Sharon. I think she has like kids now, though. So fuck her. But um, oh you know wait, wait, just because she has kids? Yeah, she got kids. I would say fuck her because she said that you don't look good when you're happy. No, no, I mean she had yeah. some kids. Young. Why you gotta bring her kids into it? Just fuck her kids, bro. <laughs> if they anything that came from Man, her. What was this? <laughs> seventh grade? I was like probably elementary school. Oh wow. Oh, no, it's so naturally like I never smile. I don't really smile in pictures that much. Oh my gosh. No never. wonder. Yeah, you, you always have this. You gotta, you gotta make the same oh. here. I always gotta make that, that blue stick right here. Right here. He's like, never like, yep. he's never smiling. That's rare. Like, that that raising canes picture, it's a rarity, dude. You dude. know what I mean? But no, I, I don't. I feel more, way more confident. Because you were drunk. <laughs> no, that is wow. true. I hit him with that blue steel. All the Dang, time. Like, you I'm, you remember a lot of things because I remember not to put your business out there. Put it, put, it, put my business out there. When so I met this fool when I uh, tech, he said he met me in middle school. I don't remember him, but he, I met him in te- well, when I was in tenth grade. He was in ninth grade, and he was an asshole. Like the first couple of weeks, he was a jerk. Not true. And then after a while, he he Wrong. would make me laugh so hard. Yeah, he would make me laugh so hard, where like uh, at, at, when I would leave the class, my throat would hurt. Yeah. And <laughs> then and then yeah sus. yeah and I, I remember I remember I said that and I was like bro every time I leave with the class my throat hurts he's just like sus <laughs> no but back then he was just like the the the, the, the phrase was no homo yeah and he's like damn fool no homo I was like no full homo dude this is, yeah. Yeah, I love this class bro I look forward to sitting ne- sitting next to you because we're paired up the yeah. teacher put us together and then one day he just lost it he didn't make me laugh for like two months and I told him I was like hey dude are you okay he's like yeah why was someone was like dude you lost your funny man. Oh, and he shit. didn't talk to me for a while. Oh. And then when I graduated and I, I, I had every, all my homies sign my yearbook, he signed it. And he was just like, I still remember when you said I lost my laugh. Oh. It stayed with me. It did. And love you, buddy. Have a good summer. And I'm like, <laughs> I remember reading it and being like, what the f- Damn, that shit, what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, enjoy Sacramento. You're making a great decision. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he was just straight up like, you lost your funniness. I don't know what it is, but it's just not there anymore. He's like, you're trying to. And I'm like, Melvin, shut up, bro. Just draw. We're in drawing class. I'm like, dude, just draw prisms or whatever we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Don't talk to me anymore. Yeah, why did that affect you so much? Me? Yeah. Because you're my friend. Dude. <laughs> But you know, what else? Crying? So to this day, do you have that insecurity of your tooth? Gap? Oh, absolutely, dude. I've, I mean, when I get money, I already looked at how much it is. To how much is it? Like that's you, you got to go to Colombia. It's like maybe like six thousand. Wow. To get wow. What about get, here in America? Like fifteen, probably. It's I want to get those like nice white veneers, bro. Like the bad bunny has, where I can just be like. Yeah, like, you know. that shit looks so clean, dude. I'm gonna be like extra, you know? What I mean? Like you know, how Cardi, wow. you know, um, what's that J Cole song where he says, uh, "Smile." Okay, with, with the lyric is like, uh, "Kept a twisted grill to show the kids it's real," right? Fuck that shit. I'm trying to get a bag and fix my teeth, bro. That's why I listen to J Cole. That's why you listen to Cardi B. He's that's like, I got a bag and fix my teeth. Mm, that's why I'm a Cardi guy, dude. I want to get that thing. But yeah, my teeth for sure, dude. Still to this day, like whenever I laugh, I go like this, like. Oh, oh, that's true. Yeah. I thought it was because you're mysterious. And you're no, always, no, no, no. You're always plotting. You're like, <laughs> yeah. But now I've been, I've been a lot more smiley lately. Dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've been, yeah. Life has been good. Life, Life has been, been good. good. Life is good. Yeah. I guess, you know what I mean? Life, we think. Life, Life is good, man. You're DJing every weekend. You're doing this podcast. That's awesome, man. Mm-hmm. We're doing a lot more shows. Yeah, dude. Yep. I, I can't complain, but sometimes I still do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how it is. What, what is that? How, oh, and, just, oh, and also getting fat. That's my, that was my oh, biggest okay. fear. Like, even when I'm like, uh, yeah. that's why I love Elvis so is much. That, is that why you hate? You, you, you strongly, you have a strong disdain for people who are a little overweight. What are you talking about? You know what we're talking about. You know I yeah, hate fat yeah. people. Yeah. Yes. No, I just hate you, bro. You're, I, don't, I, don't hate you. I don't hate you because you're because fat. Because I'm fat? You yeah, hate you're, me you're because fat of what? Because I hate you. <laughs> because, because I don't So if you love me, I'd be skinnier. Yeah, yeah. Because you, 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 uh, what do you call it? You overindulge. You just drink too much yeah. just to take, make, take away the pain of me roasting yeah. you. Yeah. Well, first of all, that's he's full of fucking shit. <laughs> Holy he shit. He hates fat people, no, dude. What are you he, talking about? Dude, if, uh, yo, he, every time we see a fat person, he goes, what he does that. Well, he does that, dude. He's dark. This guy is just telling pure. Oh, you're like me at the Raising Cades. When I when we went to Raising Cades on Sunday. Oh, don't say this. Yeah, well, it's not bad. Oh, we yeah, went to Raising Cades on Sunday, right? I just like making up some stories. So uh, we're all drunk at Raising Cades, and I go to the cashier. I'm like, "Hey, man, like we're just coming from my friend's bachelor party. Like he's marrying this fucking bitch, bro. And I'm like, this bitch, she's like fucked everybody, but like he's still got he's still marrying her. The guy's like, really? It's like that? I'm like, yeah, yeah it's like that, dude. But you know what I mean? We're just here yeah. to raise And that cake. explains it. So when I went to go ask for ranch, they were just like, here, have an extra ranch. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, thanks. And every, even the chefs in the back were like, <laughs> That fucking explains it, dude. Yeah, dude. Everyone, everyone wanted you to have a good time, and that's what we did. Yeah. I, we, we took you to Raisin Cane's yeah, for a yeah, bachelor yeah. party. Yeah, yeah no, I want to, dude. I want to have a bachelor party. That's just so much fun. Dude. It would be fun. I would, go, I would take you to Hong Kong, Tijuana. Wow. Are you secure enough to let your girl have a bachelorette party? <sighs> no. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, whatever, whatever she want, whatever she would want. But yeah. um, I'd be worried as sick. Yeah. I'd be worried as sick. You gotta trust your girl, dude. I know you have to trust. You have to trust your partner. That's really important. That's something mm-hmm. that I have. Uh, I've. Uh, I don't know, man. You always like mention this. My one particular ex, and I think, dude, she messed me up real bad, like trust issues wise. Was she playing? Was she playing games? Yo, yeah, she was playing. Oh, I can't games, stand bro. playing. Like, I dropped out of uh, elementary school because there was just too many games. Too many bro. games. Too many <laughs> games, man. Yeah, dude. And that, that the, talking about insecurities, bro. A person can make you insecure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And even if you were, even if you were the most mm-hmm. confident, secure person before meeting this person, mm-hmm. a person with bad intentions can make you the most insecure coward ever. Yeah, yeah. dude. You know what? What feels good about being single? You don't have to worry about anything except yourself. You don't have to worry yeah. if somebody's doing something else. It's just you. You wake up in the morning and you go and do whatever you want to do. I, I don't know. I don't like that. That though too though. Well, yeah. that's the thing. I was just about to mention that I don't like that either. Yeah. But, Wait, but it's like it's like uh, it, everyone has the thing that is best for them. Yeah. Uh, you get what I'm saying? And yeah. also, also like as corny as it sounds, the grass is always greener on the other side. Yeah. Like, the know? grass is greener where you want. Single it. people want to be in a couple. Uh, yeah, relationship people want to be single. It's just it's always gonna be like that till the end. No, nah, but I don't want to be single. Though. That's the thing. Really? W- when I'm single, I am very insecure. I've I've always been a very insecure person my so whole you, life. So you're the opposite of what I just said. The yeah. Being in a relationship has made you more secure than. Oh ever. yeah, oh, dude. My girlfriend has changed my life. Wow. How? Yeah. How? Dude. My girlfriend has made me connect with my culture more. I've started this podcast after meeting my girlfriend. Wow. She like basically nagged me into being happy to be. She's Mexican. teaching you how to speak a, a more fluent Spanish as well, right? Uh, yeah. She helps me. Yeah. But I basically ask her a lot of questions about words and whatnot. And yeah, she's she's the inspiration for that, though. You know, mm-hmm. she's the inspiration for connecting to my Mexican culture. Also, at the same time, like nine months before that, my grandpa passed away. 
So like I wanted to connect more with my Mexican culture. And when he passed away, I started listening to a lot more Mexican music. Mm-hmm. And so I asked my grandma for like a playlist of Mexican music. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And she gave me all these songs that my grandpa used to love. Wow. And I would listen to him and I'd be like, oh yeah, he's always playing this at the Carnesadas and stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it would send you back to yeah. like those memories. Wow, wow, wow. And wow. so, and then like, you know, I met my girlfriend sometime around there. I remember already being with my girlfriend when my, my grandma gave me those songs. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then my grandma passed away shortly after that. Mm-hmm. And so with all those things combined, but more so of like the driving force of being with a true Latina from Mexico. She was born in Mexico. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and just her bringing that all out of me. And, and I, wow. I've always told her, like, I'm a very insecure person, you know, but I'm learning. This is the longest relationship I've ever, ever been in. And when it comes to insecurities, I don't know why, but my insecurities are kind of like magnetized towards relationships, you know, mm. for whatever reason. Because mm-hmm. insecurities doesn't really necessarily <laughs> mean being confident for uh, a partner or something, in my yeah. opinion. It's like how you truly feel about yourself. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm proud of the accomplishments I've, I've have. And there's moments in my life that are cause me to rethink of who I am as a person or if I'm really that fucking sick, dude. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but I've always been an insecure. Like, my baseline is insecure. Mm-hmm. I was around a lot of white people growing up and, like, got made fun of a lot, a lot of name calling. And, and when it happens so constantly, you kind of think to yourself, like, that's fucking me, dude. That's who I am. Fuck, you dude. know What do they do? They, I mean, they, they just pronounce your name. There was this one white guy... Uh, Kyle, his name was Kyle. He passed away, so I'm, you know, well, he's, he's never, he's never gonna hear it. Yeah, dude, he, he fucking drunk drove. What a loser! Oh, right? I'm like, oh, my gosh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's not. I only they got service down there, bro. He's not gonna fucking hear it. And then there was this other guy, Josh Jelinek. These fools are like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Is he alive? I don't know. I fucking don't give a shit about you, that guy. What did they say? To you? They called me herpes every day. Herpes? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. That's so fucking funny. Like imagine you, you like you wave, they're like, you're like, hey, they're like, what's yeah. up, herpes? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. It was mean though, dude. It wasn't just like, oh, there's herpes. It was like it was mean. Like why did they, why did they call you herpes? Because I had get cold sores on my lips. Oh, I, I thought it was because yeah. Gerardo Herpes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought that too. That's what I thought too. I thought, wait, what were you doing with your lips? No, I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of a rude question to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did you have herpes? Like, no, I, I have HSV too, Dude, for be, sure. That'd be what is that? It's the lip fucking herpes, dude. Oh, yeah. oh wow. That'd be cra- cold sores. That'd be crazy if they're, they're like, why are you calling me herpes? Like, because you fucking have herpes. Yeah. You're like, okay, but you don't have to call me herpes. <laughs> but That's, I was born with it. It was like, an, I yeah. didn't go sucking dick and getting fucking herpes. Yeah, you, yeah, it's crazy. A lot of people have that. Yeah, and really. It, it, it's technically it's called it's like something something herpes, yeah. but it's not the it's not the actual. It, herpes. HSV one is genital herpes, and then HSV two is. Have you guys ever had a, a STD? Mm-mm. No, me. Either, I'm a virgin. Bro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> not through the back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this will, see me this will laugh so fucking hard at some trauma in my life. Bro, the shit's... But it wasn't just calling me herpes. It was like putting me in a corner and being like, <laughs> yeah. admit that you're fucking herpes, dude. Like, Damn. tell us your name is herpes. Tell like us that. your name. That's dude, you know yeah. what? If we would have went to school together, I would have defended you. You, f- you told me that when you were drunk. <laughs> yeah, did I really? Yeah. What did I say? You were like, you never got in a fight with me, Jer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's crazy when I hear stories about like legit bullying. Yeah. Because it's always white guys that are doing bullying. Like, well, there was people like at our schools, there wasn't any bullies. There was just guys that would fuck with you. But then like, they would be like, hey, let me get some chips too. Or they'd give you some Yeah, food. Like, they yeah. Would, they would, they wouldn't, they weren't outright like trying to put you in a hole. Yeah, there was, yeah. yeah. yeah there was just be fucking never, stupid. there was never just one guy that was known as the bully. And yeah. He would yeah. Fuck. Like they would get like, yeah. They'd get, they'd get their ass kicked they by would, a game. Exactly. Like, yeah. But yeah. there was just a bunch of guys that do stupid shit, but then you do stupid shit to them. So it was a one, it was, it was, it was a back and forth thing, but like an outright, just like bullying shit. Yeah. I yeah. don't think I've ever it's really It's a very seen, 90s thing. Yeah. I don't think I've really seen it that often unless it's like online bullying, which is like. Well, that's different. That's a whole different. Yeah. Did I ever tell you guys a story about Retardo? No. No? <laughs> you have. I told you. It's a funny story. Dude. <laughs> he just laughs at all these moments what, of my life. What? What? Uh, in fifth grade, I was in band. I played saxophone. Stop fucking laughing, homie. Yeah. And uh, one day, I forgot my read at home. And so I told Mr. Bonner, I was like, hey, Mr. Bonner, I forgot my read. I was all cute as fuck. You know what I mean? And then Mr. Bonner just turned and looked at me, and he goes, you forgot your read? And I was like, yeah, for my saxophone, you know? And he goes, retardo. 
And what? then the whole class, the whole class just dies. Like, like fucking, it was, it was the funniest thing that ever happened at, in fifth grade. Yeah. Wow. And it it's, got so bad. They were laughing so fucking hard. They were all saying, it was like fucking, you know, what's that one movie? Uh, Finding Nemo? Yeah. Mine, mine, mine. Yeah. But it was like, retardo, retardo, retardo. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> was saying retardo. Wow. And I got sent to the dean or whatever. That's not the dean. It's the, <laughs> you got in, why'd you get sent? You got in trouble. Because yeah. they're like, these kids are laughing too hard at you. Why, yo, why'd you get sent to the principal? <laughs> because I was the source of, uh, joy that day, I That's guess, you know? So <laughs> wow. You didn't tell him, like, the teacher just called me retardo. I was traumatized, dude. I was kind of really quiet about all this. Because wow. they called my mom, and they took me home, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Yeah. Damn, dude. And I was, I was no longer in band. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, fuck. I mean, that's probably for the best, honestly. And when I tell my mom this story, she's like, I mean, you probably did something wrong over in there. Yeah. Why'd what you mean? forget your read? But what were you wearing there? <laughs> what were you wearing? What were you wearing? Were you yeah. you that's were, why I told you don't dress skimpy, you're, stupid. You're, you're dressed for prop provocative. Yeah. <laughs> you were wearing spaghetti straps. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's wild. I guess that'd be fucked up, dude. Dude, I think music fucking teachers in a, this was elementary school. Yeah. I think they're just the fucking worst, dude. Yeah. I, you know, I played violin for seven years. What Whoa. the fuck? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I played well, violin for seven the years. world's smallest violin with all your fucking drama, dude. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> yeah. I saw somebody die. <laughs> what is story am I dude. gonna post? Okay, we're done. <laughs> we're done. We're done. No, dude, you uh, posted honestly. Never mind. You, posted, <laughs> you, you should have. You should have posted falling back. Because <laughs> the guy's falling off the Ferris wheel. Like free falling by. A, yeah, free yeah, yeah. fall. Oh, that's fall, so fucked fall. up. Dude, I just heard. Dude, I just heard that song. The it, it's the by M A three M eighty three. It's mm -hmm. just it's beautiful. It's a beautiful song. Mm -hmm. But so I, I played violin for seven years, right? But I started in third grade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in fuck sixth grade. It's crazy. It's fifth grade. You're fifth grade. I was sixth grade. Yeah. Uh, I had, dude, I got into this fight. So I was, I was outside of the, the school. The school was over this. My friend was fucking, um, he was getting beat up by these two kids, by these two older kids from middle school that were just, pat, was passing by. I don't know their beef, but I saw him and I was like, yo, yo, stop, stop. And I was like waving. I had my violin in my case and I was like waving my Waving my 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 violin because these kids were bigger than me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was a big sixth grader, but these <laughs> had to be like in eighth grade, right? Yeah. And I was like waving my violin <laughs> case, and I was get the fuck out of here. And I remember like hitting their face and their teeth, and one guy would start bleeding and shit like that. And uh, my I just looked down, my friend was just crying, weeping, and and everything. And I was like, "Yo, get up, dude!" Like, you know what's fucking? You know what's fucked up? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll keep telling the story. Uh, <clears throat> And, and yeah, yeah, I waited for for his parents to get to pick him up, and I told his parents, and they were like, "Well, thank you so much." I go home, everything's chill. The next day, I bring my violin back because we have practice for the orchestra. I open it up, and my my violin's just fucked up. Oh. The, the 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 base where the strings get connected to was ripped up. It was just it was fucked up. It looked like I used it in a fight. Yeah. Without the case, and I just remember looking at it and just being in shock. And Mr. Martinez, our fucking orchestra teacher, was like, Called you retarded. What the fuck did you do to your violin? <clears throat> oh my God. And I was in such shock, and I'm like, I'm in tears because this is my violin. Yeah. And he's just like, Oh my, you know what? Just stay here. Stay here. No respect. No respect for, <laughs> no one respects their instruments. Everyone get over here. You have to respect your instruments. And oh he's my using God. me as a fucking, as an excuse to yell at everybody Example. and be like, Look, Melvin's violin. Yeah. And I'm over here like crying, tears coming down my eyes. And after that, bro, oh my God. And you know what? That I haven't even, I haven't told this story in a very long time, bro. And then fucking the kid, a couple weeks later, the kid that I fucking helped uh, called me a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? 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 I thought you were a big kid. I thought you were the fat. Yeah, exactly. I was I wasn't fat. I was just a big kid, but he called me a fat ass. I don't yeah. know. I mean, we got fucking. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck, dude? dude and after wow. that, I mean, he tried to be my friend, and I would be like, dude, stop talking to me. You yeah. don't, don't talk to me. I hate when you defend somebody and they stab you in the back. Yep. Dog, yo, it was fucking terrible. That dude. shit pisses me That's off. That's fucking. If bullshit. I see him in the street, I hope I'm gonna block that guy. I don't, he doesn't deserve to see these fucking clips. Yeah. yeah, but it was it was a happy ending because um, <laughs> but, uh, I'm what, waiting to hear the happy ending. The first time, yeah, the first time I ever wrote a thank you letter. I've only ever written one thing a couple like one or two thank you letters in my life mm. my dad's friend heard about the story and he gifted me his 80 year old violin what the fuck really yeah Damn he it. was so moved and my dad was just like yo uh don mr don has something for you and i go in the back and i uh, take open the box and it's a, a old vintage classic violin holy shit perfect for my size 
And it was the first time I, I called him and I, I was like, I was like, thank you so much, Mr. Don. Wow. And he's like an old white guy. He's like, of course, of course, Melvin. Just promise me you'll practice. He's like, and it was, promise and me you won't hit it with yeah. another guy in the face. <laughs> you won't beat this. Promise me you won't beat the shit out of two older kids with this. And, uh, and I remember my mom being like, go grab a, 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 a paper and a pen. You're going to write him a letter. And I remember thinking like, why? I already thanked him. You, you have a little kid, bro. Yeah. And I'm just like, but I remember think, I wrote it and I sent it to him. And he recently passed away a couple months ago, which oh. uh, well, RIP Mr. Don. But yeah, I still have that violin. And I remember fucking showing up. And Mr. Martinez was like, where'd you get this violin? It's such a beautiful violin. All of a sudden. And I was just like, my, 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 my father's friend gave it to me. And I, after that, I wanted to quit so bad. Yeah. But yeah, he should have quit. Fuck that food, dog. Fuck Mr. Martinez. Fuck the two fucking fuck bullies, bro. Fuck yeah. people who fucking you help them out and 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 they 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 stab you in the back like you said, bro. Yeah, it's just like, bro. Yep. I was just like, I was like, dog. I literally saved you from getting beat. You know what's crazy about that whole story too is you were in sixth grade, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what's so fucking crazy. Oh, Why do these fucking band teachers have the gall to like yell at a kid, dude? Dog, that's what I'm saying. Like these fucking like looking back at it, I'm like, holy shit, like. <clears throat> That's like I get, I get being a teacher is stressful, but I remember looking back at him. There's moments where I'm like, dude, you're at the end of the day, you're still an adult. Yeah, yelling these obscenities to children. Yeah. I had a sixth grade teacher that fucked me up, bro. That shit pissed me off. What happened? Yeah, but, mm. Don't drink the water right when you tell us that. I had an English class, dude. Right? Uh -huh. English. You fuck with English? I do fuck with English. I fuck with math more, but yeah, I'm a wordsmith, dude. And we were given this assignment where we had to write a film uh, critic, criticize, uh, what, do, what do you call that thing? Like a critique. We had, we had to write a critique. I'm listening, but oh, I'm going to go get water. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had to write a critique of a movie, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then everyone's picking their thing, or yeah. whatever, album the chipmunks, whatever was popping in 2007. Yeah, I, yeah. I, picked the, I picked the movie There Will Be Blood. Transformers. Transformers, another popular one. Yeah, yeah. But I picked There Will Be Blood. I'm okay. in sixth grade. Oh, the sickest movie of all time. Yep. I watched the movie. I write a dope ass critique. I turn it in. I think I'm going to blow my teacher's mind, right? Yeah. <laughs> class ends. She's like, Daniel, come talk to me after class. And I was like, oh, what's up? Do you read it? And she was like, yeah, you need to rewrite this. And I was like, what, what, what do you mean? She's like, I know that this is plagiarized, so you need to rewrite it. Oh, oh shit. And I'm like, what, what do you mean? I play like, what, 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 why are you saying that? She's like, cause you couldn't have wrote it, written this. You, you know what I mean? And I'm like, what do you, Whoa. I'm like, but I wrote it. Like, I don't, I, and I was trying to make up like ways. I, like, I was like to, to say that it wasn't plagiarized. Like I rented the movie. It was in a clear case. I couldn't have read, like, read yeah. anything to write. She's like, you have three days to rewrite it or else I'm going to fail you for this assignment. Wow. And then that's when I was just like, you know what? Give me the F. Yeah. Damn. And I was like, fuck that bitch, Miss Dian, bro. Bro, when Miss did- Miss Dian? Yeah, bro. Oh, Miss Dian. I remember her. She was Armenian. Yeah. Dude. Yes. Okay. I mean, that's not a big yeah, deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, imagine like a kid. Uh, imagine a kid like pushing. She was her a bitch. She, she was a fucking bitch. I remember her. She was. She was really mean. Dude. Yeah, dude. The amount of effort I put into that just because I picked a movie that was like clearly. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Like you should yeah. be like, wow, this kid is actually trying. Yeah. And that shit was so unmotivating. So it's like, why even try if you really think I'm not yeah. gonna be able to do what you expect? When did the word plagiarism? Like I remember when that shit hit the school for me mm -hmm. back in like '55. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That shit. <laughs> Honestly, they're worried about plagiarism so much. You know what they should worry more about? Dick writing, bro. Because I feel like okay, no, too, but no, no. Because it's like you know how your your you you know how you told your mom. I already told him thank you, right? Yeah. And then no, she's like write a letter. Yeah. And but, you're like, mom, I'm not gonna start dick writing. Just, <laughs> when was plagiarism invented? Bro, I'm bro, looking the this shit up. Dick writing makes me laugh so hard. Oh shit! No, Dude, the, the, Romans, like yeah, Rome, the Romans. Yeah, Romans. The Romans were plagiarizing each yeah. other, but that shit was not a big deal in first grade, homie. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? it wasn't. I mean, <laughs> we had a, we had a project once uh, to make like a song, right? Yeah. And this kid brought in like a '70s song that was already a song. <laughs> I think he brought in like a '70s uh, like a Led Zeppelin song uh, and, said, yeah. and said that he wrote it. And the teacher was like, "Okay, that works." You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But like in sixth grade, the teacher was like. You, you got damn. Is that your second monster? Holy! Hey, shit. Stop, stop, stop dick writing me. Yeah, you fool, just what the fuck? Keep, that's fucking not, telling your that's story. That's not dick writing. What are you, the monster yes, piece? Is, dick, dick writing is be like, well, Melvin is so. Maybe if you cool. paid if you paid more attention to girls in your life than you do me, Ooh, then you maybe you have a girlfriend. <laughs> this guy, I don't want a girlfriend. I'm living life. I, I live, live life. I'm just kidding. No, but stay focused. Plagiarism yes. hit the fucking campuses around like middle school, food, where you had like a whole day where you talk about plagiarism. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they use this shit against you to be like, you're not smart enough to do any yeah. of this shit. That's what I'm saying, dude. I got accused of plagiarism once in fuck my sophomore year. And uh, 
the teacher was just like, took me to the counselor. Shout out Mr. Calhoun. Oh, Calhoun. Shout him out real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out Mr. Calhoun, man. He was the best. I love his son too, Daniel. Yeah, he's, hey, he's a better da- he's better Daniel than this Daniel. Yeah, he's, he's, a good, he's fucking real dope. This bro. Daniel's fucking dope. This, no, no, this Daniel's fucking cool. Dude. <laughs> but this one's Daniel, cool. Daniel. Daniel Calhoun. He yeah. bought a Raisin yeah. Cane's hat. Dude, no, no, he looks like he would wear it. Oh, he has Modelo tattooed like on his, yeah, st- yeah. On his stomach. <laughs> that's yeah. pretty cool. Daniel, he's yeah. just like a white dude with like, <laughs> he's so white that he's red and he has Modelo tattooed yeah. on his stomach. He's, he's that type of white like, guy that all races love. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I get pulled into the uh, to Mr. Gunn's office and he's just he's just like, Melvin, um, you're, I forget, it's like social studies teacher. Wait, do his voice. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. You could. You threw me off. You made me cough, dude. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I have but, an uh, asthma attack. Yeah, uh, but basically, it was about I had mentioned like rise like of the phoenix. Yeah, like like a phoenix and da da da. And Mr. Calhoun and the teacher was like he he was there present. The teacher was like Melvin, tell me what a phoenix is. Like he thought I didn't know what a phoenix was. Zag. And I'm like, it's the mythical creature that is a bird and it dies and it comes back stronger. At like of, as a phoenix, yeah, rise of the phoenix, yeah. And he was like, "Oh, huh. Mr. Cahoon thought Mr. Cahoon was just like, <laughs> like you could tell Mr. Cahoon was like, dude, I've known this fucking kid since he was six years old, bro. Like, <laughs> what? Like, this is awkward for me. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But the, t- the other teacher, this Asian teacher, was like, you know, dude, what, what does this mean? And I'm like. Fool, you taught us that like three weeks ago, bro. I thought you'd be proud, bro. He's the best fucking student. Bro, there yeah. was a, there's a Harry Potter book called Order of the Phoenix. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. And like, and he was just like, you know, if I if we catch you we'll plagiarizing again, again, we'll kick you off. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can get kicked off whatever sports team you're on. He told me that. Mm-hmm. And Mister Cahoon was just like, well, no, well, no, you you, you can't. But <laughs> just Melvin, just, just and like he he was Mister Cahoon was a lot at a loss for words. And I, I remember being like, this fucking guy. I hate this fucking Yeah. Thing. Mm-hmm. And then, a couple months later, his wife dies. Yo, oh my okay, God, what the Melvin. Fuck? I just like, I'm a storyteller. I just, tell, <laughs> I just like to tell you all the stories. You attract trauma. I like trauma. telling the details. You're, I like, I, you know. I like this was a walking final destination. Oh, actually, yeah. Don't that. fucking kick it with me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, you know what I'm sometimes insecure about, though? Yeah. Is that what? I can't speak Spanish that well. Oh, and, uh, yeah. That makes you insecure? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, Especially like, with like some motherfucker like me that makes fun of you guys. Yeah, and I mean, <laughs> it really hit me more that I guess I am more American than Mexican. Yeah. Because I was at a bar, right? And this guy straight from straight up Mexico, we're talking. And then he was just like, you don't speak Spanish at all. And he was coming down on me hard. Yeah. He's like, you never been to Mexico? You don't speak Spanish? I'm like, man, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't know what you want me to say. And I'm like, I'm, I guess I'm from LA. He's like, well, you're not really Mexican. I'm like, well, I guess I'm LA Mexican. Cause like, you know what I mean, foo? And then he was like, what is foo? And I'm like, you know what foo means? And he's like, what, what the fuck is foo? And I'm like, yeah, I guess maybe it's just different. Like, yeah. like yeah. I think, I think it, I'm like, I'm Mexican, Mexican, but I'm like, I'm really just from LA. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then yeah. LA Mexican is probably different from like a Mexico and like a Mexican in Mexico. Line. Yeah, and that's what like, I want to ask you guys about this. Like, um, I know I know OJ is a bad example, but okay. you know how like you know Jay Z's line is like when OJ said I'm black, I, I'm OJ. I'm not, I'm not black. I'm OJ. Yeah. Uh-huh. At the time, I feel like a lot of people agreed with him. Uh, like, or let's say he never murdered anyone, right? Wait, are you talking about Jay Z or OJ? We're just talking, we're talking about in OJ. general, when OJ general said, concept when OJ said of that. someone being like, "Yeah, don't put me in this box. I'm yeah. more than that." Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, in my opinion, I'm Melvin, and then I'm a Latino man. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? Uh, well, what are you guys' views on that? Like, oh yeah, I think I'm Danny. I'm like, bro, I'm like a whitewashed Mexican that speaks in black voice, dude. I'm, di- <laughs> I'm diversity. <laughs> baby. You know what I mean? I'm everything. <laughs> No, but you know, I, I feel like, yeah, it's hard. I don't want to be put in a box ever because people are just like, how about this? Why would you put Latino above Melvin? I don't know. Is I, there any reason to do that? No, I personally, well, I, d- I don't believe there is. I, I don't. Yeah. yeah, neither do I, but I know there's some people who do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, like they're they're Maybe they're just, there's like, it's like a train track that you can just put your train on and be like, yeah. I'm Latino. Yeah. I fucking eat carne asada with my cousins, even though I'm allergic to beef. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah it's, I think it's crazy when somebody just makes one thing their thing. Like if, yeah. like if I'm just like, I'm the Latino guy, I'm the yeah. gay guy, or I hate, especially when I'm the weed guy. It's oh like yeah, you, yeah. Just, you should be multifaceted. Or at least yeah. I feel yeah. multifaceted. Especially, yeah. Like, it, there's, yeah. Like, there's, there's some Mexican shit. I don't like, I don't like the Dodgers. You know what I mean? And I live in LA. Dude, um, uh, speaking of the Dodgers, you love the Angels. I do. They're up for sale. Huh? 
Huh? They're what? up for sale, yeah. They're up for sale? Yeah, they just they just went up for sale Thank yesterday. Thank fucking today. God, bro. Their owner is like a piece of shit. Maybe yeah. we might win a game. They just released a statement Jesus saying, Christ, like, hey, who wants to buy us? I might buy the fucking Angels, dude. I swear to God. I, I doubt, doubt it. I doubt it. She, I might um, let me let me put a lease on Studio M and then yeah. we'll get it. <laughs> you gotta get those glasses. Put those glasses on. Walk in and be like, man. hey, uh, I want to buy the Angels. Yeah, thing. but yeah, they're like, I don't like soccer. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, there's some Mexican shit that I don't fuck with. You know, that's what it is too. It's like that's what I'm trying to say. Is like, you, I look at something and I think, does Gerardo like this? I don't go like. I'm Latino. I have to like this. Yeah, that, a yeah. lot of people do that kind of shit. You That's know what I mean? Weird. Like, yeah, like I fucking like throwing the toilet paper in the tra- in the in the fucking toilet. You know, there's, yeah. so there's some shit that I like doing. That from, what is that America. Latino to not? It's they don't have the plumbing in fucking Mexico. Oh, so yeah, like yeah. you, they that's when they throw the shit in the trash can. I'm like, oh no, don't do that. Either. That's crazy. Do I that. was raised to throw it in the. You know what I realized when I first got this studio? I realized a lot of people flush it down the toilet, and that shit would clog up my pipes, dude. Yeah, oh, one wait, time, yeah, one time I was wait, you not you don't you don't throw it in the toilet here? Mm-hmm. Throw, yeah, have you been throwing shit in the toilet? Always, yeah. Jesus Christ! You're suppo- <laughs> you, we live in America, Melvin. <laughs> no, these pipes are old, bro. These no, pipes are real the, old. These are American pipes, though. They could be as old as fucking 1862, and they still take that uh, shit. Dude, I have, I've had to call like the plumber three times. Each time cost me like 800 bucks. I'm sorry, but I don't throw that shit in the toilet. Every Isn't time. that something about Los Angeles that they were supposed to renew? the pipes 25 years ago and they never did oh man la is about broken promises yeah Yeah. have you ever been to the boulevard of broken dreams oh my god (laughs) yeah Yeah. another turning point yeah Yeah. Yeah. no that's a wrong song actually no i know but he's turning the conversation yeah Yeah. no 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 no. but like (laughs) there's there's, there's some shit just like being mexican that i'm like i'm like the spanish like that i've always been told i'm not mexican enough yeah Yeah, you're not you're not a real mexican yeah you know what's so crazy dog i i remember in seventh grade specifically I was ashamed to let people know that I knew how to speak Spanish. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's wild. Really? Yeah. That's, dude. Yeah, because I remember I remember being like, um, in elementary, nothing really mattered. Everything's, everyone's a dumb kid. Mm-hmm. But I remember when I got to middle school, like, uh, chunti was a big term. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A mm-hmm. big term of- a big I love that word. Well, there was a lot of chunti ass food at, at yeah. middle yeah, school. Yeah, at middle were... school. And like, and like I, I was like light. I, I was super light in middle school. So mm-hmm. people call me white boy and shit like that. Weddle. Bueno, white boy and all that stuff. And and, and uh, yeah, I just remember being like, no, I don't know how to speak Spanish. And people were like, yeah. Because, but then when I got to high school, I was like, no, no, no that shit doesn't matter. But I know I speak yeah. Spanish. Like, that was my first language. Like, yeah. Damn. My you know dad, what I mean? My dad told me that he purposely didn't teach me Spanish. And I was like, hey, Pop, you know, like, like it's kind of a handicap now. And he's like, yeah, but you're different. And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, since you don't know Spanish, if you knew Spanish, you'd be like everybody else. I'm like, that's like telling me like <laughs> I chopped off your foot because now you could look, people could be like, hey, I got his foot. He's different from everybody. Yeah. But <laughs> he, he always he said that he got uh, back when he was younger. Right? They got bullied. They were like oppressed because they spoke Spanish. Yeah. And he's like, I'm gonna teach you. I'm not gonna teach you Spanish. So you have an American accent. That's what, yeah. And then what do you call? It? And then fuck, it did work because I've gotten I've I've gotten weddings with this this couple. They they called me and they're like, yeah, we picked you because we just knew that like we wanted an Italian to DJ our wedding. And I was just <laughs> Like, yes. I was like, I'm yeah, a, you are I'm ambiguous. Me. Yeah, I was like, mama me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are pasta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like if if I squint, you look Armenian, Italian. Yeah, yeah, I get it, like middle. You know, like fucking. White. I don't even know what a Mexican looks like because I thought Sama Hayek, I thought Sama Hayek was the hottest Mexican girl ever, and she's fucking Lebanese. Whoa. <laughs> what? Yeah, she's like Mexican and Lebanese. Oh, and she, oh like, so she is Mexican. Okay, she's yeah. Mexican, but you know she don't look yeah. like Selena looks Mexican. Yeah, or Sofia Vergara. She's she's Colombian. She's Colombian, but like yeah. Sofia, uh, Selena looks Mexican, but Salma Hayek looks Middle Eastern, and you know what I mean? That's yeah. like two different. I'm like, what is a Mexican? You know what's like? crazy about what you just what you mentioned about your dad? Mm-hmm. Like, I have a friend named Juan who's from Guatemala, mm-hmm. but he, uh, his first language wasn't Spanish; it was a dialect. It's called Quiche. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, so it sounds Asian. It sounds like it sounds like um, like an Asian accent. Yeah. And uh, when I first heard him talk to another friend of his in that accent, I was like, what is that? He's like, oh, it's quiche. And uh, my dad was like, I asked my dad, and my dad was like, yeah, um, that's the language. So basically, that's the language that uh, people in, like, villagers and mountain people in Guatemala speak. Mm -hmm. People who weren't colonized, who escaped colonization. Yeah. So I was like, holy shit. So that would be the language that um, I would speak. If we didn't get colonized. And my dad was like, no, what are you talking about? <laughs> Ew. And I, and I was just like, no, that's the truth. Like, that's that's really the truth. And there's one time I was hanging out with Juan. We went to Home Depot. And he was talking He was talking like that on the phone. Mm-hmm. And this other Mexican guy was like, yo, stop talking like that. <laughs> or he was Guatemalan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And I, he, Juan is so nice. Juan's like, oh, he's just like smiling and bowing. He's like, no, we're in America in Spanish, obviously. He's like, we're in America. Don't be talking that stupid fucking Quiche shit. <laughs> and he's speaking Spanish. Yeah, 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 yeah. In Spanish. Yeah. And I, I was just like, I was just like, whoa. I was like, yo, yo, back the fuck up. What the fuck are you saying? He was just like, he's like, son, you shouldn't be saying that. That's like, that's the language from like fucking fucking mountain people in Guatemala. And I was like, bro, that's his language. He'll fucking talk. He'll speak it whenever he fucking wants to. Like, that's the real America. And I was getting upset at him. And he was like, no, no, no. I, I don't want any problems. I was like, you start, you start talking to us. But then that's not the point. That's not the, the, the point. point. Like the point, the point is that like, uh, it's frowned upon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though that's the original fucking language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But is it frowned upon by one dude or a bunch no, of people? No, it's, it's, it's a known thing. It's, oh. Uh, not, I, I'm not... T- talking about the story just for one guy, yeah, I just yeah, say, yeah. like it's it's frowned upon. A lot of Guatemalans, I, I can only speak for Guatemalans. I don't know, yeah. but I I know it, that it's like this everywhere. But a lot of Guatemalans look down on it because they they you know they think Spanish is like the 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 main language. That's what they teach you in school. That's what they teach you. You know, media is in Spanish mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So quiche is like it's like if uh, you know it's like slang. They they view it as lower than slang. Like dude, they, like that's uneducated. Those are mountain people, forest people, village people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> YMCA. <laughs> it's just the YMCA song over and over again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, um, <laughs> yeah, no, but, but isn't that crazy? Like that's like, it's a whole, it's like a whole other world that people just frown upon it be- because they think white people are gonna like them a little bit better. Yeah, it is crazy, dude. Which is fucking ridiculous. Yep. Dude. I mean, but think about it though. The thing things were constructed that way. Yeah, it was always about making the white people happy. But why? Because they they took technology from different places of the world and made it themselves and made something more of it and then murdered everyone with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Took technology, culture, food. Yeah. Yep. It's cool that we're not to worry about that shit anymore, though. You know what I mean? Like, we, <laughs> nobody, oh, we have to worry about no, it. No, in no, a no, no, way. no. Like we don't have to worry about making a white person happy the same way uh, like the, our generations before. Yeah. Like you don't have to fit in with them if you don't want. To. Yeah. Like, we have our own lane. I agree. I mean, like we make a podcast for Latinos that feel like they don't belong. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to people. all our listeners who are Latino. And you know, we also yeah. we have a lot of listeners that aren't even Latino either. Yeah. This podcast for everybody, bro. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And if you, yeah. Anybody, everybody feels like they don't belong sometimes. You know. Well, that's the goal of the podcast. Me and Melvin talked about this a lot. Is like to transcend being Latino. It's yeah. like yeah. I don't want to sit in the fucking puddle that is the sadness of being a Latino. It's not being. It's not sad, dude. It's pretty sick. It's actually. pretty fucking dope. I yeah. love, dude, every time I think about it, I ask people this all the time, too. I'm always like, are, oh, what's your, like, would you ever want to be anything other than Mexican, you know? Oh, yeah. And they're always like, yeah, I don't like being Mexican. I'm like, dude, I, I, whenever I think about it, being Mexican is the best, dude. Yeah. Like, in, I can't picture being any other race or any other culture. Yeah. Like, I chose to be this person from a different life. Yeah. You know, I, I've I like, always felt that way. I like being, man. I don't ever feel like a minority. Even if people are like, yo, you're a minority. I don't even like saying that fucking word. It's yeah, just yeah. Make, I don't. I don't walk around yeah. feeling like I'm less than or the other. I'm like, I'm just Mexican. That shit's tight. Yeah. I like it. I hate minorities. The word. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the word minorities. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. hate the word marginalized. Yeah. Why do we have to say these fucking words and sound like robots? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. While other people, while they don't I think, speak, when it comes to speaking about their own culture and stuff, they don't have to sound like some fucking script. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm doing this for marginalized groups and like so for representation. All these fucking words annoy the shit out of me. Yeah. I'm a person, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm not just Latino. You yeah. know, to go back to the Melvin thing. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 100%. Yeah, 100%. But I think we're coming from a place of privilege. Like, we grew up in Los Angeles. Yeah. Where it's the biggest city, one of the biggest cities in the world. Mm, talk There's that so shit. Yeah. many people mm-hmm. yeah. of all types, of all walks of life, mm-hmm. so many ethnicities, genders, all that stuff. Like, like we have the privilege of like, yeah, I'm, I'm Latino. What's, like, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I, I have a friend that's black. I have a friend that's white. We're going to an Asian restaurant. We're yeah. going to, there's an Asian museum that we, I want to go check out later to this week. You know yeah. what I mean? Shit like that. Like, it's, it's so much, we're, we're, we're exposed to so much that it, we're, we don't even realize it. Yeah. We don't even realize that people are different. But there's other people in America that are like, that's in their face. See, that this is the thing. Like, I feel like I'm so radicalized by my love for being Latino or Mexican because I was raised around a lot of white people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the way they make you feel. Them, them specifically, not the race in general, yeah. mm-hmm. but the, the Ranch Cucamonga prescription pill popping white people I was around mm-hmm. at all times always wanted to put me down. And then when I was free, I, you know, drank a lot, smoked a lot, did a lot of drugs to make myself feel fucking normal or better yeah. in any way. Yeah. And coming out of that kind of fog of alcohol and drug use, I found this 
I fucking adore my culture, dude. Yeah. You know? And you know what you say about like, mar- you know, the term marginalized and oppressed and all that stuff. Like two things can be true at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like uh, a lot of. Uh, um, but I, well, when I say I don't like those words, I'm saying that people that want to fuck with you yeah. can say those words to sound as if they're working for you. They're not fucking working for yeah. you at times. It's, it's like that meme. Yeah. I hate to bring up memes, but like it's like a, a it's a black woman. And yeah. she's like, oh, I just feel sad. And then another white woman's like, no, shut the fuck up. You're oppressed. You're marginalized. And you need to know that the, this country wasn't made for you. Yeah. And you're going through it. Let me help you. And yeah. it's just like, it's just like, well, fool, like, well, well, relax. Because you, sometimes you could be so woke that you get racist again. Yeah, exactly. Look, Dick, like being on the, the left and the right, it's not like a left and right. It's a circle. You yeah. could be so fucking left that you eventually become go racist. Yeah. If you make three lefts. You make a fucking right. You know that they have the, you know, look, you know that shit that they have in uh, Berkeley? Did you hear about that thing? No. No. <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> they just agreed to have like uh, like a house where it's like only black people or something like that. And it's like, oh, so you just did segregation? Yeah. You just yeah. did the shit that they wanted. They fought so hard yeah. to, um, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah. You could be so woke that you, look, uh, what do you call it? Mad, look, look, look fucking, um, people always think they don't have the same opinion as somebody on the right, right? But uh, let's say back in the day, who's the most famous actor, like, of the 60s or 50s. Give me a thing. Marlon Brando? Yeah, Mar- Marlon Brando. Not, specifically not Marlon Brando. <laughs> let's say John Wayne. Right? Okay. <clears throat> let's say they asked, he was racist as shit. Let's say, the, <laughs> let's say they asked John Wayne, they're like, John Wayne, they're like, we want you to play a gay character in this movie. You know what he's going to say? Fuck no, bro. I'm not going to play a gay guy. They're like, how come? He's like, because I'm a fucking straight guy. How am I going to play a gay guy? Go to 2022. They ask like a straight actor. Give me a, give me an actor, name. Johnny Depp. They ask Johnny Depp. They're like, Johnny Depp, can you play a gay guy? He's like, fuck no, bro. I'm a straight guy. I can't play a gay character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You get so woke. Yeah. You eventually 100%. Go. Life is a pendulum. It's a pendulum, yeah. baby. It's a pendulum, baby. I mean, sometimes you agree with some shit you don't even realize you agreed with. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. Talk that talk. Talk bro. that talk. Don't call me, I, don't call me a fucking minority because I don't. Yeah. Ever, I don't ever feel like. A yeah, it, exactly. I, it's it's two things can be true. Like, like we can we can say there's a, a homeless crisis in LA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Without being homeless. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're we're still an LA. We still live in LA. Mm-hmm. Like it's like it's like we're Latino. Yes, Latino people have been historically marginalized and oppressed in this yeah. country, but that doesn't mean that we're at this moment oppressed. Like we've experienced oppressive acts. Yeah. Uh-huh. We've experienced racist acts just like every other minority in the country. Yeah. Don't but I we don't, hate. we we don't like it. it you, you can't keep, ha- you can't make that your mentality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because once you do, then they win. Yeah. The oppressors are making oppression a, a competition now. Yeah. And it's like you, Oh no, you don't have it bad because this other person has it pretty bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bitch. Two white dudes call me herpes every yeah. day for fucking however many years, dude. Yeah. You know? A band teacher called me retardo, dude. That's funny. I'll defend that one. <laughs> bro, I just don't like being a minority because yeah. someone's like, oh, you were, it's amazing that you were accomplished so much as a minority. I'm like, bro, I could do this shit because I'm better than you. I'm cocky. I was insecure. Fuck that. When I say Latino, I'm like Eddie Guerrero. I'm shimmying that shit. I'm going to take this shit because I'm better. Yeah. I'm and, walking in the room cocky. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, and, and, and we, we want... And I want everybody else to feel if you're, exactly. if you're, if you're Latino, uh, people who came before us, they had to have that, like, I'm just happy to be here. Yes. Don't, yeah. ask, don't ask for a raise. Just, like, just do your work. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Be cocky. Take that shit. They're yeah. taking it. You, you might as well take it. You're you just- have to. You have to or else you will sink. Mm-hmm. Our parents, our grandparents, our great grandparents, they had to do that to survive. They had to say nice things to white people because white people back then can lynch you and kill you in the mm-hmm. middle of the street and no one would bat an eye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's different now. Oh, I mean, there's still that shit, but they got, you know. Yeah. No, but, still, it, but it's, it's significantly less. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, we, we, we can't have that that victim mentality yeah. anymore. If, Two if, things can be true at once. True. It, yes. Don't be a fucking vi- walk. When you say Latino, don't say a minority. Be, be fucking cocky. Yeah. yeah. Be the fu- walk in, take that shit like a championship belt. I'm Latino. Yes. Fucking Latin. If you say Latinx, then do the fucking <laughs> Latin DX, X, baby. Only. Latinx. Yes. You know, be cocky with it. Bro, we should have every, every, ex- every Latino should be a cocky ass dude. And I'm so glad, like, I, I'm seeing, I'm speaking as a millennial, like, mm-hmm. I'm seeing races of all types 
find their inner love for themselves. Yeah. I'm seeing I'm seeing black people on social media finally love their skin. Mm -hmm. Like they have think pieces and articles writing about how I used to hate my skin when I was a kid, when I was in elementary school, middle school. Mm -hmm. Now it's my favorite. I, I love it. I, I I can't get enough of it. And yeah. and people are loving it. I, I'm seeing Indian people uh, uh, saying that like you know their food was was looked down upon growing up. Like people would make fun of their food mm -hmm. when they would take it, take it for lunch in school. Now it's like one of the most popular dishes in America, and it's popular cuisines in America. America, there's an Indian place that just opened up across the street. You know what I mean? That my friend says is delicious. Like I, I love seeing the the acceptance and love of one's oneself, mm -hmm. and that's our point. That's yeah. our point. We're not saying that people aren't oppressed. They're not marginalized, or mm -hmm. they're not considered minorities. We're just saying that, like, yes, that is true. But also, you should we. Should, you have to change from within first. Yes, yeah, stunt on these hoes. You can't. Yeah. You can't change the laws in America. You can't change the culture in America until you change your own mentality first. Yeah, yeah. you get what I'm saying. Yep. And that's what we learned from Hustle University. Andrew Tate. Yeah. 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 We took one class of and like, so. Go to the Patreon and then subscribe to Hustle Don't University. Even, dude. Yeah. Don't he just even. got he just yeah, got he just got. Yeah, he just got. Yeah, you can't even say his name on YouTube before they. <laughs> Yeah. See, monetize the damn video. And you know, you know, you know, you know what I realized. What you know you who realize? helped me, or, or a person that helped me, Gandhi, feel like this, Kobe Bean Bryant. Oh yeah, oh dude. hell yeah. His yeah. birthday is today. Uh huh. Oh hell shit. Is shit bro. Damn, I should have worn the things. Shit, I had a jersey, dude. Damn. Yo, R.I.P. Kobe's birthday is today. Yep. And uh, he would have turned forty-four years old today. Mm -hmm. And he's he had a, he had a famous story. He was just like, because he was born in Philadelphia, but he was raised in Italy. Because yeah. his father played overseas. And he's just like, he's like, man, people will ask him, how was it? He was like, I was a black boy in Italy where everyone's Italian. How do you think it went? Yeah. It was racist as shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the only time people talked to me and respected me and loved me was when I played basketball. And that taught me that like, skin doesn't really mean anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about respect. It's about being proud of yourself. Being being true to yourself, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it, you know what I mean. It, 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 you see it all the time, especially in a place like LA. And I know that we mention LA a lot is because we're from here and we love it so much. But if you're in a place, because I've been across the country, yeah, and 85 percent of the country, it's either it's always black and white, black people and white people, no Asian people, no Latino people. Everyone in the East Coast always say, we have Latino people. It's like, well, you guys have Dominicans and Puerto Ricans and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But like LA has like hundreds of types of Latinos. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And uh, wherever you're at, man, just, just be true to yourself and just be true to others around you. And that's the most important thing. That's yeah. truly the most yeah. important thing because I know, you know, a lot of white people, especially now, are getting a lot of hate just because of their skin color. But that, that, that's, that's just, you're fighting a negative with another negative. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like you say, man, you get so fucking woke that you become racist again. Yeah, yeah dude. You know like, what I mean? Like, it, it's just, 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 just be true to yourself, dude. That's it. Like, it's, as corny as that fucking sounds. Be loud and proud. If you're a white, be fucking white, bro. Bump American pie, bump queen. Yeah. That's a, yes. that queen is technically white shit, right? Yeah, he's yeah. British, right? Yeah, yeah. it's like, yeah. but you know, there's a bunch bro, of- Green Day. Green Day's yeah. awesome, bro, dude. Bump Fallout Boy or whatever the fuck yeah, is. Yeah. You know what I mean? But just like- fucking, Nickelback. Just do you. And every, yeah. like, and there's there's so much overlap and type of and shit that like I feel like people would be able to like get along. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's some there, like we like you guys love Queen. That's fucking white Fuck shit. Yeah, and dude. so many people love Queen that start off as white <clears throat> shit. But you know what I mean? It's, it's universal for a lot yeah. of people, dude. We mm -hmm. can all get along. Yeah, yeah, I know so many Mexicans that love David Bowie. And it's like yeah. that fool's white as shit. Dude, yeah. like more I don't like I wasn't a member of Morrissey person, uh, but like people love that shit. You know yeah. what I mean? That that sad Mexican. The Smiths. They're like fucking like Mexicans, they love white. Like that song, you know the song Genius of Love? Yes! Oh my God, bro, dude, that's like the, that mo is the, well, the most anthem. the most famous Mexican song, ain't even a fucking Mexican song, bro. You know, you know Genius of Love? No, it's like oh, uh, you know, it's you uh, know, Genius oh, okay, okay, it's yeah. like the fan the song Fantasy Mariah Carey, the little uh, oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 dude, like you, I, you play that in front of any Mexican. That's like I'll play that shit in front of my dad. Fools, he will yeah. literally stop whatever he's doing. He'll just always go like. <laughs> Always. Yeah. No matter, yeah. he'll be fucking working on a car. He'll just get up and be like, hey. hey and yeah. then I'll stop playing it. And he'll just be like, why'd you turn it off? <laughs> <laughs> he would always just be, he'd always just be like, 
back in the day, man. Those who yeah. start off with that yeah. shit. <laughs> just with that song specifically. And that song, I think that song is like an alternative song from the yeah. 80s. It's about like yeah. it's fucking white people. Yeah. Dude. So don't be insecure about your skin color, dog. Don't, don't be, be insecure about your culture. Don't be insecure about where you're from. Mm-hmm. Don't be insecure about your parents. Don't be insecure about your children. Oh, I'll, I'll, just, I'll tell you one Full last thing. Love, there, was one la- there was one thing that I, always, I was always insecure about as a kid. Uh, my dad is a wild guy, but um, every time he'd pick me up from school, this motherfucker would show up with no shirt. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm like, Pop, he's like, do you not want me to pick you up? I'm like, all the other kids' dads, they all wear shirts. They all, shirts. They they all, all have shirts, shirts on. Yeah. Can you just put a shirt on one time? Like, imagine, like, everyone's going to pick up, and everyone has their dad, and they're hugging them and everything, and your dad is just, like, walking around with no shirt on campus. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Pop, dude, what are you doing, man? Yeah. And I was insecure, but, but that was the one thing. But I love my dad, though. Yeah, it's your dad's vi- dope. It's a vibe. And now, yeah. now we neither of us wear shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true, true, yeah. You know what I mean? The next yeah. podcast we're going to do, we're going to have no shirt oh, oh you guys are like that should have been the insecure yeah, that, that should have been insecure oh well. i got one last you know what's funny? You're so stupid <laughs> hey, you're insecure a lot, huh? yeah no, you're really yeah. insecure dude. i was nah dude I, this is the funniest shit i was so insecure because i was fat right yeah. i was so fat that uh that this one kid went up to me and he scooped me right and oh then, and, I remember this, and then this bean dips yeah and this other kid went up to me and he's like he scooped my side and he's like, oh my God, you could scoop any part of his body. And then like three people just all went up to me. They just started scooping me. And my PE teacher, Miss Luster, she looked, she didn't even stop that shit. She just started laughing so fucking wow, hard. I remember Ms. Luster, dude. She was a fine, but she started laughing, uh, dude. I, I remember in, uh, in like seventh grade, um, <laughs> my friend had a trumpet, my friend JJ. And I had my lunch, right? Every day we'd meet together and go to the bus stop, right? Yeah. But one day I went to the bus stop and put my lunch down with my backpack. And JJ's like, ah, stupid me, forgot my trumpet. <laughs> right? So we went to his house together to go get his trumpet, right? Mm-hmm. We came back and my lunch was missing. Damn. And I was like, what the fuck, dog? Like, it was here, food, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's just not supposed to be eaten until like 12 or 2, you know? Yeah. And so I went over to everyone. I was like, y'all saw lunch over here or no? You know, did you see lunch over here? Mm-hmm. There was one new kid that had just moved into town or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they were all giggling in a circle. When I was asking everyone else, I saw the circle of people giggling, right? And I was like, those motherfuckers took my PBJ, you know what I mean? So I walked over to him and I was like, hey, did you guys take my lunch? And they were ignoring me. And I was like, hey, you guys, did you take my lunch or not? And this fool finally turned around and he goes, I didn't take your lunch, fat ass, right? And instinct, dude, just the instinct. I just cocked back and boom, in in the face. And it was the best feeling of my life, dude. I don't know why yeah. I punched him. I just fucking socked him in the face. Yeah. And then somebody was like, hey, fool, here's your lunch, dog. Here, sorry. Damn. And what, then I walked away. I was like, got my lunch, fool. You got your trumpet, JJ? What, <laughs> what, if you, what if you took that rage instead of worked on yourself and you're like, you know, I'm going to fucking lose weight and get really dude. buff as fuck. That's There's that fat phobia coming out. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, the yeah, fuck, yeah, dude? Yeah. No, that's what I remember. We had this We had this eighth grade pool party, right? And I was uh-huh. fat as fuck at, at Eagle Rock still. And I was like, well, I can't be walking around. I don't want to be the kid in the pool with the shirt on, bro, because mm-hmm. that's always disrespectful. Don't ever be that guy. Yeah. You know, don't be that guy. I I love being that guy. Don't but yeah. be that guy don't because be that if guy. you own a pool, yeah, it sucks yeah, up yeah. all the chlorine, and I fucking that's why I don't invite the fat guys to the pool. Oh my god! I would say this rich thing. fat phobic yeah. no, motherfucker. No, 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 no. His his fat phobia has analytics. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Let me tell you, if, if you're a fat person, you come to the pool, just wear a bathing suit because if you wear a shirt, you're gonna suck up the chlorine. <laughs> and guess who pays for the chlorine? Poppy, bro. And I, Poppy. And get, how much is chlorine, dog? Bro, it's five dollars a gallon, and it takes like seven gallons. Well, that's and, how much a homie costs, dog. Yeah. Hell nah, bro. You gotta fucking throw ins on that shit. Wow. But we had this. Eighth, I got five. On we, we had this eighth grade pool party, and I was fat, and I was like, man, I gotta lose weight. You know what I mean? Because I had puffy nipples in eighth grade. You guys ever had puffy nipples? Oh. My nipples were so puffy, dude. And like, I tried popping them once in the shower with a needle. I was like, I got to get rid of this. Oh my God. I like, and then they, they, nothing changed. It just, it just fucking made myself it bleed. Hurt, yeah. It just hurt a lot. Yeah. That yeah. sounds like the funniest movie of Saw ever. Really? Dude, <laughs> I'm puffy nipples. Yeah, puffy you nipples. Unpuff pepperoni your nipples. Pepperoni nipples, dude. I was, it was, <laughs> you, you have big nipples? I, I did. Not anymore. Not really. You got nipple reconstruction surgery? Yeah, I got nipple. Yeah, yeah I got yeah, the yeah. reconstructive surgery. surgery yeah. No, because, and then I would, I would listen. To some shit, I, I forgot where, who I talked about this to, but like this guy told me that the trick to getting rid of your puffy nipples is to squeeze your nipples as hard as possible and then like pinch them and then they'll fucking shrink. And that's why I would do that all the time because I didn't want people to think that I was fat. Wow. Dude, I used to have puffy nipples and I did train my nipples to become hard. Yeah, wow. yeah. Train. He's, he's, bro. One of my nipples was always an any foo. And oh. when it was like cold outside or whatever, uh-huh. it would, it would, you know how like nipples get erect, you know, spoiler alert <laughs> yeah, sucks. for people that have never seen nipples, That's they get hot. erect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mine was in me though. Like there was like. It would erect inside. It of was you? like erect like this, like this. 
Mm-hmm. Like that. Oh, wow. So, like, it was like any, and it was barely erect. Like, boom, yeah. like that. Yeah. So, I would just, like, pinch it and shit and pinch it and pinch it and pinch it, especially when it was cold. Mm-hmm. I'd be, like, freezing and shit, pinching my nipple and shit. And then, to this day, doc, it's not, it's fucking, it's a fucking nipple, Maybe. homie. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, no, no. I fixed oh, it. Oh, we fixed wow. it. See, I fixed it. Sometimes you got to just get, get the you work. You got to just do the work. Yeah, you got to do the work. Sometimes. I'm going to get a BBL for my nipples, dude. Just <laughs> get them nice and get them. He just has two asses. It's just two, yeah. Yeah. Two, two, two cheeks. <laughs> just two, just get me double cheeked up. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. that's, that's that's it for this week, guys. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you yeah. have anything, last things anymore? No, no, no. no? no. We'll see what we got. We have a lot of insecurities. Everyone's really insecure. Comedians are usually really insecure. Yeah. I think being a sign of confidence is being able to talk about your insecurities. Oh, 100%. Absolutely. 100%. You know what I mean? Because people who act like they're not insecure about anything, that machismo shit, mm-hmm. it's got to go, bro. Yeah, it's got to yeah. go. It's got to go. I was watching, it's toxic, dude. It's, it's unhealthy. To- bro, I was watching I was watching Grease. You know that movie, Grease? Mm-hmm. I was watching. I Grease. love that movie, I was watching, <laughs> I was watching Grease with my, uh, my dad. He's like, how are you going to watch this shit? And I'm like, Grease? He's like, I'm like, why? He's like, they're singing and shit. And I'm like, it's a musical. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like you don't like musicals? Dude, and yeah. he's like, nah, I can never watch that shit. I'm like, okay. I'm like, you want to watch Elvis with me? And he's like, yeah, okay. And we're watching Elvis. And they're singing and, and shit? And, but like, and, 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 and for some reason, like Elvis is fine because they're musical performances, but I don't get the difference between like singing the dialogue versus yeah. just like Elvis. My dad just loved it because all the girls are screaming for Elvis. He's like, oh, that's fucking sick. <laughs> Dude, yeah, man. I love musicals, bro. I love, I love things. People, yeah, I love, I love things that people wouldn't, Think that I liked, yeah. But just just because it's cool, I like cool things. I, what do you think of the movie Grease? I love Grease. It's yeah, it's but like, you know how people R.I.P. Olivia Newton. Oh yeah, she recently passed away. Yeah, you know how people are like, ew, that's a terrible mo-. dude. I remember one of my exes. I was like, wait, wait, um, wait, wait people think it's terrible. Uh, I do this thing where it's hilarious to me. Where if somebody's telling something that's interesting to me, I go, tell me more, tell me <laughs> more, more, right? She put up a fight. Yeah, like, especially when they're like, kind of don't want to tell you more. Uh-huh. I'm like, talk, tell me more. I, that's, I love that fucking song. That dude. song's amazing. Tight. And she got pissed at me immediately. She's like, how dare you fucking sing that song to me? You know, that movie's like full of uh, fucking misogynistic shit and this and that. I'm like, I was like, oh yeah, I don't even like Grease. I was like, what the Wait, fuck? Wait, really? I said you that, but I just, I did not want to get in the I, argument. I hate when people say that shit about that movie because it's like, yeah, it's a movie that's, that's supposed to take place in the fucking 50s. Yeah. And I'm like, it's literally a fantasy. The motherfucker drives in a car into the clouds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, the people are fucking dumb, yeah. bro. Like, tell me, that shit's tight. Tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> I fucking love Grease. Man, John Travolta was that dude. Yeah, man. he was. That shit makes me feel nervous about getting old because like, Fuck, bro, that guy was so handsome and so cool. Yeah, and he he dropped Grease and Saturday Night Fever back to back, bro. Yeah, imagine, imagine, yeah, bro. imagine cool. ha- yeah. having a two. Years- like ten years later, Pulp Fiction, dog. No, Damn. but he fell off before Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was like a comeback for him. But and then he just went through like he just went through a bunch of roller coasters and spirals. But like, god damn, from going that height. Fucking out! Shout out to John Travolta. He gained some bro. weight, you know what I mean. He after that, bald now. he's bald. It's like, where do you go where after you, that? Yeah, that's dude. the thing. It's like, like yeah. that's that's all, that's you, it's peak. like, where do you go after that? I like, think there's just it's a testament to appreciate the present. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't know, I don't know, I've never heard him talk about it, but like when he was at that peak, which is like the peakiest of peaks yeah. ever. Don't ever say history. peakiest. Don't get, don't ever say peakiest. Why? Say the, the highest peak. The highest time, peak. Yeah. <clears throat> the biggest of peaks. And, uh, <laughs> he was probably thinking like, "Oh, my legacy! Like, what movie am I gonna do next?" Yeah, like, yeah, what? yeah. He should. Oh, man, that's crazy, dude. But if you get stuck watching your, uh, if you get stuck watching a highlight reel, you never make any new moves. You know what I mean? That's a, yep. That's Where'd you hear truth. that from, Giannis? That's the truth, funny. bro. You know what the second highest grossing uh, album of all time is? Uh, the Eagles' Greatest Hits. Really? You know what's fucking crazy? That album doesn't even have Hotel California. Really? Yeah. That was just the shit they made before, and then they dropped their magnum opus next. So if they're just like, man, we really accomplished everything, it's like, motherfucker, you didn't even yeah. make it to the top yet. Keep wow. grinding. Damn. That shit always blows my mind. Wow. That's, that's insane. That's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. Drop All right, hits. well, thank you guys. Right go here with the Patreon, baby. Go make your magnum opus. We're going to record the Patreon. If you haven't already, please check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash ecmopod for $2, $5, or $20 a month. You can help support the podcast, and we appreciate the shit out of you. And Daniel wanted to drop uh, some nudes or whatever. You were saying that earlier, right? Oh, yeah, I'm going to take a shower with the soap. Oh, yeah, we got new soap. Shout out. Uh, oh, yeah, shout yeah. out Frothy Fox. Frothy Fox, right? Yeah, yeah, Frothy, Frothy, Frothy Fox, Fox soaps. soaps. Mm-hmm. They freaking- soap. All these soaps right here, dude. Yeah. Look at that. We got a shit ton of soaps. We have a P.O. box. For those of you still listening, it's 7170. Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Look at all these. Look at all these soaps, dude. They can't hear you. You don't have a mic. But uh, (laughs) if you want to send us anything, it's uh, P.O. box 7170, uh, Alhambra, California, 91802. 
Um, yeah, well, I check the P.O. Box every Monday or Tuesday, and we'll open them uh, stuff that we get on our lives. We want to put stuff behind Melvin. As you can see, there's plenty oh, yeah. of space. Yeah, we need we need some fan art right here, dude. And we got art here, too. Yeah. We know you got you. Some of you guys are really, really talented. Even if you're not talented, we would love some. Yeah, yeah. just give us like a macaroni craft or something. Also, know? for like uh, clothing brands out there, um, we've had clothing brands in the past send us shirts in, and we wear them on the podcast. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this. Our studio, uh, the front, it's it's an actual storefront. Yeah, so people walk past by in downtown Los Angeles. If you guys send us stuff, we'll put it right in the very front, and we'll even sell some of your fucking merch, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, we're down to collaborate. If you want to send it to us, I'll wear a shirt. I don't know if this full. This full always comes fresh as fuck, so I, I don't know. I try, dude. He I tries, try. so. Yeah. But I'm an XL. I don't know what you are. You're X, a three X. X. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You Latin, XL. Latin X, X, X. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're both XLs, and what are you? I'm a two X. Two X. So I'm you an gotta, XL or a large, whichever. We'll you got to pay for a little bit more fabric for Melvin, but he's got the single. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you're a three X. I'm a two X. Two X. So, but yeah, shout out. Hit us with the DM. I'll be in Excel uh, soon. I have the P.O. box in the uh, bio of our Instagram. And I'll start including in the description of the YouTube. But love you guys. If you guys want to say anything. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Just, uh, bye.